And welcome back. You know, there's an epidemic of childhood obesity in Texas. If you don't believe it, open your eyes and look around. Uh, but reversing that is a huge challenge, one that uh, Dr. Laura Defina is taking on as CEO of Cooper Institute. You, you've got an event today that you're involved with called Tipping the Scales. How do you go beyond just talking about it, though? So the Cooper Institute, in conjunction with the SMU McGuire Center for Ethics, um, is bringing together a meeting of thought leaders in this field to develop a plan for going forward. What do we need to do as adults ethically to ensure that the children live healthier futures? Uh, and, and really, you're t I mean, you say as adults, we have that responsibility as, as parents, as educators, uh, politicians uh, who, who decide budgets. That's our ethical responsibility. It's absolutely our ethical responsibility. Let's talk about a couple of things. There's something called the fitness gram that I was completely unaware of that goes on in our public schools. What is the fitness gram and what do parents need to do with that information? Okay, so that is a fabulous question. The fitness gram is just like a math test. It's your fitness test. And your kiddo is going to come home with a fitness gram report card, essentially, that tells you whether they're in the healthy zone for weight or fitness. In fact, most parents first need to look in the bottom of the backpack because that's where my son's right. fitness gram report usually is. And what the fitness gram report tells you is how fit your child is or where their weight falls. And if they're not in the healthy zone, you need to take action. So I should be, as a parent, I should be as worried about that as I am about the math test. So I personally think so. We test our kids in math. We test our kids in English and writing to be sure they're ready to live their life. If they're not healthy, they're not going to have a good adult life, so absolutely. Uh, there are some changes that you're seeing. Some schools in uh, North Texas are instituting re good old-fashioned recess like, like you and I remember. Yes, sir. Actually, Dallas just last month reinstituted recess, and that's critical that the kids have the opportunity to be active during the day. It's good for their health through their weight and through diabetes, it's good for their academics, and it's good for their attendance at school. Right, and, and short of that, this obesity epidemic, you talk about, well, gosh, it's kind of cute, he's a little bit pudgy. There are some serious health problems attached to that. Well, so if you consider the fact that one in nine kids in the United States live in Texas, and in Texas, 30% of the kids are either overweight or obese, mm -hmm. but worse, in the Dallas County area, it's 50% of the kids are overweight right. or obese. Their risk for diabetes, heart disease, and all those diseases of adults um, is much greater. We've talked a lot about exercise. You also want, it, it's what goes into your body as well, and eating better, and that's a part of this program. Yes, too. sir, and absolutely. Kids need to learn to eat healthy from a younger age. They should be eating all colors of the rainbow. Uh, and, and finally, as a parent, not just going and raising a stink with your school board and saying you need to spend more on buildings, but saying you need to spend more on PE. You need to spend more on PE and you need to ensure that your kids have recess and that they have some testing like fitness, Graham, of whether they actually are yep. getting enough activity. All right. We want to tell you more about uh, this. Uh, begins at 9 o'clock this morning uh, at the uh, George W. Bush Institute. You're going to find a link with information. And you are, by the way, invited because it's important to your kids. Uh, we've got more information on fox4news.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.